Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. What's up? Why are you up here all by yourself? Why am I here? Well, I had some time after my lunch break, so I decided to make a special visit to my favorite college student. Come on now, tell me all about it. What kind of boyfriend would I be if I can't be there for you when I need the most? Yeah, he sure is a hard teacher. I think I barely passed when I took his course. Didn't you say something about having a test yesterday? You didn't get a good grade. Hey, it's no problem at all. That happens to everyone. Yeah, it happens to me too. Yes, even I get bad grades from time to time. No, you're not stupid. You studied for days on end and gave it your best shot. There's nothing to be ashamed of. That's probably more effort than most of your classmates did when they took their tests or when they studied. You are a devoted student. You've always been as long as I have known you. But you've got to cut yourself some slack. You were probably up until one in the morning studying the night before the test. If I hadn't gotten up to use the bathroom and forced you to sleep, then you'd probably been sleeping through the test and you would have gotten an even worse grade. Think about that. You need to give yourself a break. Cut yourself some slack. You're always so convinced that you failed so much that hardly ever happens. So, this is quite the rarity. Plus, human anatomy is a hard class. And he's an even more difficult teacher. That's a pretty bad mix when you really think about it. <laughs> I remember when I was in your place all those years ago, I was so convinced that I failed the class and I just dreaded going to class every day. Well, when I was just starting out myself in college, I was a complete wreck. If I got so much as a C on the test, I would completely break down. I gave myself so much pressure, just like how you do all the time. My worst fear was that I'd fail out of college and never amount to anything. But that was so long ago, and you know what? I'm still right here. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it could have been. Yes, it's true, I'm only at the place I am now because of those experiences I've lived through, both the good and the bad. And you know what? The same can be said about you. I know that it doesn't seem like it, but things will get better. It's just one class. You can always retake it. And in the future, you'll probably look back on today and just laugh your head off. I know I sure do. Okay, maybe not anytime soon, but I can promise you it'll happen one day. Hey now, that's not true. You are far from lazy. Don't you remember all of the work you put into studying just for this test? Yes, you do. I know you do. You had your eyes glued to your notebook, even when you were eating. You and I did flashcards a dozen times every night. Sometimes 
you'd even fall asleep at your desk. I had to carry you to bed and lay out your breakfast for you in the morning just to make sure that you ate. You are smart and a hard worker, and I don't care what some letter grade says, okay? Hey, just, just come here. It's okay. You know you'll always have me by your side. I mean, just look at how far you've come. You're so worried about bailing out of college, and yet, just like me, here you are. I know, I know, I was no different too. That seems like yesterday when I graduated, and even then I hardly believed it myself. I was always so sure I would fail out. It was just after I failed my own anatomy midterm. I was so devastated that I wanted to drop out right then and there. And then I saw you. You were lost. You were looking for the library. Yeah, I was always so down on myself and everything until we met. I was in my last year. You were just getting started as a freshman. I still remember your smile. God, I love that smile. You were so excited just to be there. I so full of happiness and hope. Before I knew it, I was smiling for the first time that whole week. Then you asked me out, and I said yes without even thinking about it. I spent so much time with you that I hardly thought about my classes. By the time the next test came around, I aced it, and I have you to thank for that. I... I never told you? <laughs> Sorry, I guess I always meant to, but it just never came up. The point is that you helped me out so much just by being you. So, it's only fair I do the same. That's why I'll help you graduate, however I can. Whether it's being your study coach or giving you a pep talk, I will be there. Come on, let's see that smile you know I love so much. We say we grab some dinner tonight to try and cheer you up. I'll make all your favorites. Just say the word. Afterwards, we can do whatever you want. Catch a movie, do some gaming. There's this new racetrack in Mario Kart that I... Oh, you want to study some more. Why? The next test won't be for weeks, at least. I know you want to be prepared, but I don't want you to burn yourself out. Again. Hey, being driven and inspired is important, but relaxing is too. Yes, yes, I did. I did say that. I did say I would help you out. All right, all right, you win. All night study session it is, but we're taking a break every half hour, and then we're calling it quits by 10 o'clock, so we both have a good night's sleep. Deal? Yeah, I know I'm the worst. Come here. I love you too, and I meant what I said. I'll always help you out when you need me. So, do you feel better now? I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, I've got to get going. So, dinner, then studying tonight, right? 
Okay. See you in a few hours.